<clears throat> All right, this is the real deal. What's everybody? Ah. <laughs> what is everybody? What's up everybody? I'm George. Today we're gonna to be talking about the MK3 and 11 reasons why I think it's a really cool printer to get. My background as a 3D printer is I have the MK2S, I have a TiVo Tarantula that's not functioning right now, and then I also have a Hatchbox Alpha. The Hatchbox Alpha came as a pre-assembled printer. It popped out of the box and I was ready to print right away. It was good and I, all I had to do was swap out for an E3D hot end and it was like an even better printer. And now I use the Volcano on it because it allows me to print massive things really quickly. Then the TiVo Tarantula was a gift basically from a friend. He sold it to me really cheap because he didn't want it anymore. My MK2S I got as a kit and I assembled that myself because I wanted to learn more about 3D printers and, and how they function. And I just feel like it really expanded my knowledge on how to assemble and, and how they work. So the MK3 got announced and there's 11 things in it that I think that are really amazing and the 3D printing community is gonna really benefit from these advances. All of them aren't necessarily something that hasn't been around yet, but the price point that Prusa has been able to put it at makes it so that hobbyists can benefit from all of these really high-end upgrades. So let's just go through it. The Y-axis is first up. The Y-axis was really difficult to assemble in the kit, but with this new updated Y-axis that they're going with, it's just something that you just screw into the frame and you're good to go. It's just gonna cut your assembly time way down. Number two is going to be Octoprint. So Octoprint is an amazing software that you can download and install on a Raspberry Pi and you can connect your printer via web server, right? And you can go in there and you can do cost analysis, you can do time lapses, you can upload all of your files so that they're all stored somewhere and then have a backup on your computer maybe. But it's just a really awesome tool to allow you to remotely control your printers. So with this new printer, there's a spot that you can solder on a Raspberry Pi Zero and just makes it that much easier so you don't have to have a bunch of cables running around everywhere. I currently use Octoprint on both of my printers and it works really well. Number three is gonna be the filament sensor. So this is a cool upgrade because it will detect when your filament gets jammed. So it'll save your printer from continuing to try to print if there's a jam. It'll also detect if it runs out. So you don't spend hours of your time printing something and then wake up the next morning and find out that you ran out of filament over the night. I haven't run into an issue where I run out of filament yet, but I do know a lot of people that have, and that's something that's cool. What I'm excited about though, is loading and unloading of filament isn't a hard task, but it's tedious. This allows you to do automatic loading of filament. You just pop it in there and it detects it and it'll take care of the rest. That's a cool feature I, I'm excited to try out. Number four is gonna be power panic. Currently, I run an ups on both of my printers, and if the power goes out, which it happens a lot around here, I just have to pray to the gods and hope that the ups has enough power to last until the power comes back on. With power panic though, what it's gonna do is it's going to store where the print was left off, and as soon as it detects that the power kicks back on, it'll ask you like, hey, did you just experience a blackout? And you say yes, and then it just picks up right where it left off, which is really cool. Number five is gonna be RPM sensing fans. Basically a piece of filament will get jammed in the fan and stop it from spinning, and then it ruins your printer or it ruins your print. What the RPM sensing fan will do, once the fan stops spinning, it'll detect it and it'll cut off the print. I mean, printers are expensive, they're not cheap, so it could potentially save you hundreds of dollars. Also along with the fan upgrade is the Noctua uh, fans, which are way quieter than fans are just like high-end fans are really cool. Number six is gonna be the NZ Rambo motherboard. So Prusa got together with the guys who created the Rambo Mini and they've worked on this together to make it so that it's just a smarter board. It detects blown fuses, it has better stepper drivers on it, it has the uh, octoprint functionality. It's an all around just better, faster board. Number seven is gonna be ambient thermistors and the Pinda 2. So the ambient thermistors will allow you to print at lower temperatures or no temperature. People do print at very low degrees if they're printing in clay or designs for food and stuff, which is a big thing because 3D printing is expanding. And the Pinda 2 is something that I think is really cool because I experienced it myself where ABS prints at a different layer height on the first layer than PLA because of the varying temperatures. The heat actually affects the auto leveling and your Z-tune on your Prusa isn't correct if you have different temperatures when it's being auto-leveled. 
So the Pinda 2 takes care of that. It knows the, the variations and the temperatures and it'll account for that. Well, number eight is gonna be the Bontech extruder. And what they did is they got the hob gears from the Bontech. And so it spins like this and then the filament just comes through and it pulls it from both ends so that you don't have to worry about flexible filament getting jammed or stuck somewhere because the Bontech will just like pull it right through. Number nine is gonna be magnetic bed. So it is what it sounds. It's just a bed that's magnetic, but that's like amazing because it's really difficult to pull prints off. Sometimes you have to like get a chisel and jam your bed and you're worried that that's not good. I shouldn't do that motion anymore. You have to get a chisel and jam your bed. <coughs> I guess that one's bad too. With the magnetic bed, it's removable and that goes into number 10. So the magnetic bed is also PEI coated and it's steel flex, which is so cool because you can pull the bed off you can flex it so that the print comes off. And then it's also powder coated in PEI, so you don't have to worry about the sheet that's glued to your bed getting ruined or gouged or torn off. So it's just an awesome addition. Number 11 is gonna be the Trinamic stepper drivers. So these are faster and they're quieter. And that's the biggest thing I think that the Prusa is gonna benefit from is I don't have a garage, so I have the Prusa sitting in my living room. And anytime I wanna print something overnight, my wife goes crazy because you can hear it in our bedroom, like with the door shut, with the fan on, with the AC on, it doesn't matter. But hopefully with these new drivers and with the Noctua fan, it's gonna lower that sound level. Currently right now, I'll link it down in the description, but what I did for my Prusa MK2S is I just have these pads that sit on the feet and it reduces the vibrations. So those are 11 things that I think that the 3D printing community are really gonna benefit from with this printer. I, I love Prusa, I love 3D printing, and I just think that what he's doing is, is really cool. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Thanks for watching the video. Please leave a comment if you have any suggestions on what I could do to be better, or if I was wrong in any of my information, or if there was something that I missed, let me know. I love to hear from you guys. Thank you very much, see you next time.